effectively with the Halmaru, with the Haidun, with the Gato, and Podoroso, I'm admittedly a bit unfamiliar with. Yeah, I mean, we'll see soon. All I can tell you is it is going to be good. It is going to be some high-level KOF. These are great players. Tactile is a killer. And Podoroso down from Chile. Very lucky to have him here. Very excited to see him play. Absolutely. It's going to be a spectacle of a match to watch. Yeah, it's the rock. Like, yeah, there, there, there's that Hydern from Taxel uh, that I saw playing earlier. The Amaru, he is a Sam Show player, and Nagato. Meanwhile, Rock, Yuri, and Benny Maru. Oh, no Luong. Interesting. But the Yuri, very exciting to see. And of course, Rock Howard is in such a strong spot. He's such a staple character. He can do so much so well. And with the buffs to his install, staying between routes, the clutch factor is like no other. Absolutely. And a little bit off topic, but something that I've been loving this weekend is that players such as myself, uh, Fat Kid, we've been able to talk with these higher level players that play our characters and just get first-hand knowledge from them about what we should be doing, and what moves we should be going for, what punishes we should be looking for. And this is what's beautiful about KOF is there is just such a community of fostering that growth, helping people learn. We have these amazing players come down to Australia for OHN, and they are so willing to get games in, to share their knowledge, and help us level up as well to bring you the best KOF that we can. To put it simply, want to play KOF? <laughs> All right, the game one. and Amaru. Actile. Sam Show player has shown good stuff from the Amaru, but he's a professional. All right, doesn't go to the reflect. Yeah, they're just nice, patient people healing each other out, seeing what's going on this. Oh, nice, spot eight. With that demon flip with the anywhere juggle. Oh, yeah, Lost absolutely. Lost out for confirms their special and here. So consistent, so good. One of the big points in the but a tactile has Podoroso to the wall, getting the nice. head finds his way out, finds that round one with the Yuri. Yeah, no, that's such great recognition, just getting that 2C anti air going straight into the demon flip and just going for that anyway trouble. Okay, yeah, confirming into that consistently is just what you got to win it what makes this Yuri work so well. Absolutely. And it's just a testament to just how strong of a player Podoroso is, just being able to analyze that this is what I need to go for in this situation and just immediately do it with efficiency. Tactile playing nice and defensive on this fighter, but uh, he's getting back to the corner, his way out with the shield. Nice, cross up. Great confirm this is a lot of damage. A little bit of a drop there, but still good damage on the board. Doesn't confirm. With this Hydern JC getting these traits, just saving him from taking those hands here. Confirm what we're talking about. Oh, feeding out that. Sonic Boom, bad flash kick, and too far. Just a little bit too far, giving Taxile another chance, and that is the jury going down. Taxile putting up a fight here. Absolutely, it's something the beauty that we're spectating here. The Benny Mario we've seen so many times today already what this character can do. I want to see Podoroso, I want to see the power that he brings out of this Benny Mario. Absolutely, we've seen a lot of Benny Mario today. Oh! Doesn't beat out the fireball from Hyder. I mean, but that that's really really big loss of Peter, but he's still gonna bring, be able to bring down that Hyder, bring it down. Lots of health still on Benny. In fact, he's getting full heal here. A lot of work for this Gato, but Tactile Gato is a king of renown here in Australia. Absolutely. No, very much a sort of specialist character after his nerfs moving into season two. Like, losing um, light into EX Palm, bit of a rough patch for the character, but still able to keep stuff like his Demon Flip, his good confirms mid-screen. Oh yeah, and the, the combos that this character gets are just so stylish, so cool, and there's Tag Elf spending that mark, getting rid of that Benny, getting the big heal, going into this final anchor matchup. Really coming down to the wire already. Game one, this is looking so good. This is such great KOF. Let's see what the raw power has in store for us. Nice, use the jump A to air to air. And I mean, that JCP on raw, monstrous button, so big, so hard to anti air. Mm. Too far to confirm it to jump A. There's the quick nice. 
hit. This is going to be big damage. That's going to be level three. That is Kato going down. Round one is going to Kotoroso. But really, these players are not giving an inch. They are making... Tactile is making Kotoroso work for it, bringing him down to that anchor. Absolutely. I see that stern look on his face. He is locked in. Yep, he is ready. He is going to fight for his life here against Kotoroso. And you know, just incredible stuff from Kotoroso. The, the, the Yuri confirms on the anti are always so good to see. Absolutely. He's been able to just catch so much stuff. Nice. Let's see if the Hamaru make it through round one this time. The space control on this character has got the range advantage, and Agnell is looking to make use of that to control the space that Yuri's allowed to play at. Nice. And keeping plus with that Senpu Ha. Yeah. Oh, nice. Go for the auto combo. I like that. Yeah, I mean, get your hits, get those confirms in these scrambly situations. Every bit of damage that you can get counts. Nice. nice. With the reflector taking back his turn. And this is what we want to see from the Hamaru, just his ability to control the neutral, control space, off down Yuri, but Kodoroso finds his moment, finds oh. the big combo. Gets a little bit confused about which way to do Demon Flip, but the slap. That'll close it out, but a strong start from Tactile. He's really, really not going down without a fight. This high turn took out the Yuri last time, let's see if he can do it again. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big strength of Tactile. He has characters with very long limbs or just a lot of range on them with Haida and Halmaru. Gato as well, admittedly. But the, the far two on Gato is great for controlling that off space. This is so important to pay yeah. up. Right now, Poderoso is just not caring about that as he's just controlling the space and with I a character as stubby as Yuri. I love the use of like the super fireball, just to shut down attempts to like do any kind of zoning, getting over the fireball. It's just so clean, such a good way to lose that meter, control the neutral, and you know, when you're on point against Anchor, you can spend that bar, you've got time to build it back, you've got to make that cow work hard, Gato has a long way to go, but he has the meter, but... Watch the Shadow Strike. Lots of little trades. Nice, good and use of that dive kick, we're going to the Demon Flip again, side swap. Big damage to the jury, though. Gato has a long way to go, but... This is a big hit. We're going to probably see a big meter spend here. There Get it is, level two. Fury. SDM. Get her out. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the right choice. You've got a Spencer Bar. You've got to get past the Fury. Yeah, you need to get this health back fast as well. We're going to be going back to just under 70%. Gato, if he can get the right start, he has plenty of damage, even off of, you know, one bar, half a bar. He can make it work. So. Well, Absolutely. Going into this Benny, a little bit of a meter deficit, but I believe Tactile... Oh! Doesn't confirm into the 2C! To range that 2C is quite stuff, he's got to be really mindful of the spacing. Mm, absolutely. Just so much patience, nice. so much care in neutral being shown. I love how he's just anti-airing, just controlling space to that 5D, such a strong Absolutely. button. Absolutely. You know, nice. Good throw. People throw very good. Make Kotoroso spend that meter, make that quick mode, time out. And I mean, just so much mindfulness not to overcommit in neutral. So many run back and then, you know, back dashes or bumps back, trying to bait out something, anything to get the hit, bait out a mistake, but... Nice, good yeah. punish! Doesn't have enough meter! No, oh, this, is, this is scary, and Kotoroso now. No. Oh! He is in the driver's seat, and that will be... Game two, Podoroso taking the set. Incredible stuff. Absolutely. Great work to Podoroso and valiant effort by Tactile Water. Yeah, and big smiles on the player camps. You can see he's happy. He enjoyed the games. And I mean, with KOF like that, even losing, how can you not have a good time? Absolutely. This is a game where even if you lose, you're still going to have a smile on your face because that was an amazing set. You played your heart out.